Hey guys, it's Alicia again. So, I'm not going to start this video off talking about why I haven't made a video in so long because I feel that's all my videos ever are. But there is a purpose to this video and it's something that I've had on my chest for a while and I feel like I should talk about it. And I feel it's something that other people have thought or dealt with and I want you guys to know that you're not alone. Well, I know that there's a bunch of other videos like this and I'm sure this one will probably be no different from them. Um, I just feel like it's something that I should do, that I need to say. I can't really explain it, but it's been keeping me up at night thinking about it, and I feel like if I get it off my chest, I'll feel better. If you guys saw my last video, then you know that my father had a stroke, and it's been hard on not only me, but my entire family. And I mentioned also how I know I haven't been myself and I've been kind of like in this depression and recently I've been able to get myself out of but during the time I didn't see a way out when my dad went back into the hospital for the second time and then back into rehab I blamed myself because I felt like I didn't do everything for him that I didn't do enough to help get him better and I blamed myself for everything that was happening with the family I felt like it was all my fault and Every time I left the house, I felt guilty because I wasn't there to help dad. I wasn't there to help mom with little things, even when I was just going to school. I was always calling home, always trying to do little things to help because I always felt so guilty. And then when I realized I was having fun when I wasn't home, I felt even worse because I knew my mom and my uncle and my dad were in pain and sad. That's when I really started to eat it out on myself. I started cutting myself because I can't even begin to rationalize it. But at the time, it was the only way to deal with the pain. Because I felt so bad talking to mom or uncle or even my friends and my boyfriend. Just because I, I thought that they didn't want to hear me complain. That they heard it all already. And while I know that's not true now, at the time, it was easier just to take it out of myself than others. Then at the end of the year, around Christmas, towards New Year's, it got even worse. People had mentioned to my mom that I wasn't pulling my weight in the family. That I didn't know how to take care of my dad and that I was never home. And while it's one thing for you to see your flaws... It's another for others to point it out and talk about it. I don't want anyone to feel guilty about what I'm going to say because I'm not trying to blame anyone because I know this was all me. It was my own selfish thoughts. But I felt that I was better off dead. Needless to say, I thought everyone's lives would be better without me, that I wouldn't be a burden anymore. My mom actually walked in one time when I was really going to cut myself and really hurt, really hurt myself. She saw me throw the scissors and she didn't realize what it was till a few days later when I told her. And I saw the hurt and the sadness in her eyes that I felt this way, that what life would be like if I really wasn't here. And I feel so guilty now, even more so than I was before. I've talked to a few other people about this mainly my boyfriend and one of my closest friends. And I saw how they felt too. And while they kind of understood why I felt that way, they also said I shouldn't. And that if they ever did need anybody, that they were there for me. And I can't appreciate that enough. Ever since that day, I realized the little things that I would have missed if I wasn't here. I wouldn't have been able to see my dad making the slow progress to walking again because he could stand for five or six minutes at a time and pick up his right foot. And if he gets stronger, he can use a walker and walk again. I wouldn't have been able to experience the little things that I have with my friends and my boyfriend. We recently have gone to Little Tokyo together and he's teaching me how to skateboard, which is something I never thought I'd be able to do. I'm gonna start vlogging again. I'm gonna start capturing all the little things in my life that make it so important. And I wanna share them with you guys and I want you to share them with me because I want us to experience the little things together. 
And if you guys ever feel like you need someone to talk to, please contact me. Because I know how scared and lonely it can be at such a dark and depressing moment in your life. I know I'm not on Facebook very often, but I'm always checking my email, my Twitter, and my Tumblr. So if you ever need to talk to anyone, I'm here for you guys. And I love each and every one of you so much. So I look forward to seeing your vlogs and hoping you guys like mine so we can experience all the little things together. I love you guys, and thank you for everything.